Hello, my sweet students. Let's sing our hello song. Hello, everybody. So glad to see you. 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 Welcome back, everybody. We are so happy that you're here watching our videos with us. Um, this week, we're going to try our hands at composing melodies. So for grades P to three, that means composing with solfa. And for grades four to six, that means composing with note names on the staff. So our P to three song is uh, called Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear. So we'll sing that first. Your job is gonna be to create a little introduction to Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear. So just the song, are you ready? given you so the rhythm that you're going to use is one two clap your hands and if we're saying the rhythm one two say the rhythm wonderful so you take that rhythm and you're going to put solfa with it so you can use la, so, mi, and do. Uh, if you're in grade three, you can use la, so, mi, re, and do. Um, and change it around till you have something you like. Remember that music loves to repeat, loves to have patterns, and your last note should really be either a mi or a do so that it sounds finished. If we end on a so or a la, or especially a re, our song sounds like something else should happen there. It doesn't sound finished. And on a me or a do. Casey went ahead and um, made some solfa, so we're gonna sing her introduction for you with the solfa. Ready, Casey? four to six one and our song that got us started was the tulip song um, so we'll sing that first for this. You can keep our rhythm if you are having trouble getting started. So our rhythm with the rhythm names. One, two, here we go. And Mari went ahead and chose her notes. Um, I asked for you to choose from A, G, E, D, C. So if you're thinking solfa um, in the key of C, that would be la, so, mi, re, do as well, but you're gonna write it on the staff. So singing our note names, one, two, here we go. G, 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 E, 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 D, 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 G, 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 E, 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 So you'll notice that we have lots of repetition. 
and we've ended on a C. So just like we have to end on a Do to sound finished, if we're playing in the key of C, we want to end on a C to sound finished. So we went ahead and wrote words. Let's hear the words for our introduction of the tulip song. One, two, here we go. Tulip red, tulip red, oh how nice it is to see. Tulip red, tulip red, oh how nice it is to see. Awesome. And then I asked Mari to do the bonus part, which is if you have an instrument at home, see if you can play this on your instrument. So Mari has her clarinet at home from Grade 6 Band. Um, and only tricky spot is if you have two band instruments, they might, they might not play in the same key. So if you have two instruments, they might not play in the same key. So Mari is going to still play G, 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 E, E, E. My notes on the piano are going to be different. Um, if you're playing with a trumpet, it'll be the same. If you're playing recorder and piano, that would be the same. So it depends on what you have at home. If you want to send me an email or you could also ask Google, you can figure out how to make them play together. composing activities. Um, if you want to send them in to us, we love reading them or hearing them if you're sending us a video. Thanks so much for listening and we're going to sing our goodbye song. Yes. Your nice goodbye song. Take care of each other. That's what friends like to do. Let your sister and your brother help you know that it's true. Stay happy. Bye.